100 iron golems versus the warden. Will the warden kill all the iron golems? Or will the iron golems defeat the warden? Or will they die trying? The warden being one of the most powerful mobs in the game, I think it will be hard to bet on. First, we need to collect 3,600 iron to spawn 100 iron golems. So let's clear out these shulkers, even if some stuff felt really valuable to me. I have seen a lot of iron around these mountains. They spawn somewhere around jungles. And I live around jungles too. Wow, look how much iron there is. Let's get collecting. A few moments later. After doing that process about a million more times, I dug out a place and started to place some furnaces down. So that we could start smelting these 3600 iron. The next thing that we had to do was place coal. Hopefully 6 coal would be enough. Now we have to wait. Now that all the iron was ready, we can take them out of the furnace and put them into the shulker. The next step was to get this iron and craft it into iron blocks. Okay. We need 400 iron blocks to spawn 100 iron golems. Hopefully I calculated right and 3600 iron is enough to spawn 100 iron golems. Because I don't want to do that process over again. And I just applied flame to my bow and I wanted to test it out. And the only thing that I could test it out on was on a chicken. I just realized that I needed 100 carved pumpkins. Well, that means I have to make a pumpkin farm. So let's get to it. Now that we have finished that, we have to find an ancient city. While I was in a cave, I heard some shrieking noises, so that's why I'm mining down. I just made the advancement sneak 100, so hopefully I'm close. Advancement sneak 100, but I can't see anything around here. Oh wait, what's that? Don't let me get prepared with my totem, and let's fly down. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it's an ancient city. Now that we have found this ancient city, we have to find a place for these okay. iron golems, which hopefully wouldn't be too hard. Now I'm thinking, where are we going to put these iron golems? We have to put it somewhere around the Shrieker so that hopefully they'll...
Sporting, the rest of the 100 are in goal. In the middle of spawning, this happened to me. And I just fell down for an iron block. That is a big amount of time being wasted. It's like I'm doing a tutorial on how to waste your time in Minecraft Hardcore. And then I ran into a problem. There wasn't enough space for these iron golems. And I was worried if they would die to entity cramming. So let's clear up some space and get back to spawning these 100 iron golems. Let's do a bit of this and this. And now we're 14 iron golems away from 100 iron golems. This is some crazy amount of progress. And boom, we have finished. 100 iron golems. Did you notice that transition? Next, I need to break the glass in the front and I'm not walking through them. Maybe I should do this. Next, I need to break glass and look at those iron golems fall out like bullets. Hey, now, good. I need to make a bridge so that I can break this glass. Each time I break about three glass, they fall out like bullets. Oh, I just need to reach that glass in the corner. Oh, I can't reach it. Now I have to bridge a lot more. And okay, now I'm here and I can mine it out. Now that all the glass is ready, I got my totem ready and got my bow in my inventory. And now I started to shoot some bow shots so that the warden could spawn. Okay, and after three times of doing it, the warden, is that the warden? I'm getting the darkness effect, but I can't see the warden anywhere. Where is this warden? Let me try the second time to spawn the warden. Wait, I'm getting the darkness effect, but I can't see the warden anywhere in my sight. Maybe if I block up, I might have a better chance to see him. Really? How can I spawn this warden? The warden? Maybe impossible to spawn the warden. Wait, what about if I tried the third time, but instead of doing my bow shot, I go down there with my elytras. Hopefully, this time it works. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh, nothing is happening. Okay, hello, the warden. Oh, the iron golem is going to fight something. Wait, what's that? I'm getting the darkness flag. Is that the warden? Wait. I can't see anything. Oh no, I'm taking damage and... What is that happening? No way! The iron golems are actually fighting the warden. I don't know even if the iron golems are doing any amount of damage to the warden. I'm not sure who's going to win. I hope the iron golems do because I spent a lot of iron on them. And wait, the warden died? Really? The iron golems are so crazy. That looked like a piece of cake to them. So I wanted to level up the challenge by spawning a second warden. Let's see how the iron golems do against them. Okay, this is so easy for them. It's like they have to do this every day. Now let's try spawning a third warden. Look how easily they're doing it. This is so crazy. The warden is no more one of the hardest mobs to beat in the game if you have iron golem by your side. It's like this is the easiest way to kill the warden. Here are the iron golems defeating the fifth warden really? like a piece of cake. Well. I thought that I could do something to maybe help these iron golems, to help them survive for longer. I remember once that you could use an iron ingot and right click it on an iron golem and it will repair them from any damage that they took, which sounds cool 
and can really help. And I wouldn't mind spending a few iron on an iron golem because each iron golem is worth 36 iron and it will be a big profit for me. Hopefully, I can survive if I go down there. I have a totem anyway. So let's go in. I think the warden can't sense me because it's trying to focus on 100 other mobs and it's hard for it to focus on me. Now I'm just spamming my right click button hoping an iron golem is getting repaired. And did you just see that iron go away? That means it's working. That's so good to know. It would be really helpful to have these guys by my side while fighting the warden if I need any help. Oh, this guy seems like he needs some preparing. Okay. Yes, I repaired him. Wait, now I'm thinking I didn't even need 100 iron columns to defeat the warden. I only needed like three. And I spent 400 iron blocks. And I don't even have a beacon yet. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and it will be really helpful if you could subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.